Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I bet you can already guess what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be down here at the creek. Uh, another familiar place that we've been down here. We've been to this creek a lot. And uh, the one other reason why we're not traveling to a different creek is because I just don't really have the time to do that today. Oh, there's a turtle right here. He's not popping out of his shell, but he's probably still in there. The one reason why we are not traveling the great distances that we have been the last uh, couple weeks is because I really don't have the time this weekend. So I just figured to go to a local spot that I have been to multiple times. And it's been about a month since I've been to this creek. And it's a little low, but we've gotten a lot of rain here recently. And the water has dropped down. So hopefully there will be some good things. There's already bottles I'm seeing popping up here and there. Just glass everywhere. Obviously not old glass or not the oldest glass that we uh, want it to be, but there's still is stuff here and there. We just got to get down the creek a little ways where the better stuff is. But even though some of the stuff isn't the greatest stuff, there is still stuff that's popping up here and there. All these sandbars still have a lot of the glass that we like finding. That definitely wasn't there last time. Huh. Big piece to a drain pipe or something. There's an animal bone right there. But I'll flip on the camera when we get down here a little bit and when we get to a good find. Got our first soda bottle of the day right here next to these rocks, and I can already tell it's going to be a 50s or a 60s uh, Pepsi. That's exactly what it is. With that shoulder script right there. Man, it's been sitting in the... It's really rashed up. Holy crap. Really rashed. I wonder if it's got a town on it. Indianapolis from Indianapolis, huh? Well, we already got our first soda of the day I'm probably gonna end up leaving this behind because these aren't as collectible as some of the other Pepsi bottles And I have found these before in the past, but it's a great way to start the day off Well, we got our first little mess in bottle here. I Hope it's embossed, but it's probably not because a lot of these uh, style medicine balls that we do find in this creek are not embossed so Yep Got the little measurements on it. Well, I mean, it's still fine, so I mean, I guess we'll uh, probably take that maybe. I don't know, is it blown a mold? No, it's machine made. I already got a lot of these. Might have a town in Boston on it too. Uh, it just says Illinois on it. Huh, well, at least we're still on the right track. We're uh, getting down to the creek where the bear stuff is starting to. I'm gonna start popping up, so get back to you. By far one of the coolest whiskey uh, tops I've ever seen. It's blown a mold pretty early. Um, that would have been a nice sized whiskey. Just one more sign that we're getting into the right age to uh, find the better stuff, and we're getting down the creek to where that is uh, about to be happening here soon, so. Stick with us here soon, and hopefully we'll be getting into some good bottles, and man, I really wish that was whole. That would have been a really neat piece. Just picked up this uh, piece to Jay Hostetter's Bitters, Stomach Bitters, right next to this uh, hobble skirt right here. I'm hope hoping that this uh, hobble skirt, it looks to be newer, more likely it is. Yeah, it is. Yep, it's the clear version. Ah, it's 
funny how old bottles can uh, accumulate right next to newer bottles, but I guess it's something. We're still finding stuff. I have what appears to be another medicine ball right here. Oh, it's slick. It's messing with us today, that's for sure. Uh, it says something on the bottom. Yeah, let's say let's get out here in the sun. Liquid veneer. Huh. Wonder if that was some kind of uh, extract or something. Uh, I can't tell if it's blown a mold or not. I would be guessing it is. I think it is. It's all cracked up on that side. I might take it. Never found that before. Liquid veneer. Huh. That's interesting. Just be just before I was about to turn around <clears throat> and head back upstream towards the vehicle, there's a beer bottle just chilling here. <clears throat> And it's unembossed, I know. Yep, it's a newer one. 1950s, more than likely. Dang, that sucks. <clears throat> Might be a few other things on the sandbar. I'll let you know if I do find anything. Well, I was excited until I seen that the base was knocked out of this hobble skirt, which really sucks because I think it's going to be an older one. Oh, wow, that's uh, really gone. I don't know what that would have been. It's really dirty, really gunked up. It really faded. I think it might have been a 15. That's the content side. So the so the other part that would have told us the date would have uh, is is gone sadly. So. Dang, that really sucks. I was facing just right, just right enough to think that that would have been a hole. That's upsetting. I did find this really nice. Oh crap! I just want to drop that. I did find this really nice uh, waxy or croc. That would have been nice if it would have been whole. But I'm gonna go down this last sandbar right here, then turn around, head back, because I'm a little bit on crunch time because uh, I got some other stuff to do in the afternoon around the house. So hopefully there's a few more things on this other sandbar.